Good afternoon, everybody. How are y'all doing? I hope everybody's doing well. Today's devotion and article is Never Alone, and also, We Never Face Our Battles Alone. I know sometimes we could really think that we're alone. Um, there was times when... Um, there was times when I wasn't living right. I was out there. And I did. I fell alone. But just thinking that nobody was in reach. And I couldn't see that God was still right there with me. And all I had to do was reach for him. And I finally did. And I am so glad I have. And no matter what you're going through. No matter if it's just a trial. Or if you think you messed up. There's no way to come back. To God's good graces and His presence, yes, you can. Just get in His Word, look to Him, and ask Him in your heart. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, I just thank You and praise You, and I give You all the honor and glory. I thank You for all that You do and all that You've done, Lord, and that You're doing. Thank You, Jesus, for Your mercy, Your grace, and Your sweet salvation, Lord. We lift this message up to you. And Lord, I just ask, Heavenly Father, that you just mm, move me inside and have your word, Lord. I just thank you and praise you, Lord. And I give you all the honor and glory. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Thank you, Lord. And we're getting ready to read. Just a minute. Okay, sorry about that. Alright, back to the reading. Okay. Uh, the devotion, Never Alone. And um, it starts with a scripture, Genesis twenty-eight fifteen. It says, Behold, I am with you, and I will keep you wherever you go, and will bring you back to this land. For I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I did not know it. And then the devotion is with Matthew 28, 20. It says, Teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you, and behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Okay, let us begin. Never alone. It says, I am with you and I will protect you wherever you go. I will not leave you until I have finished giving you everything I have promised you. Then Jacob awoke from his sleep and said, Surely the Lord is in this place, and I wasn't even aware of it. Jesus said in Matthew twenty-eight twenty, Be sure of this, I am with you always. <clears throat> and the devotion goes further. It says, When the result of your misdeeds has you on the run, do you ever wonder where God is? Do you ever wonder if God has deserted you? Consider Jacob. Prompted by his mother, Rebecca, Jacob stole his older brother's blessing. Once he did so, he knew his life was in danger. So on the pretext of having to look for a suitable wife, Jacob ran away from home. That first night, Jacob stopped to rest, using a stone for a pillow. He fell asleep and dreamed of angels going up and down a ladder reaching from heaven to earth. Standing above it, the Lord spoke, promising he would always be with Jacob, never leaving him. When Jacob woke, he was stunned, for he realized that even in that place, God is with him. When Jesus died on the cross, his followers felt alone and abandoned. How sun stunned they were when Jesus reappeared, resurrected from death, assuring his followers he'd always be with them. The same holds true for you and me. No matter what you do, no matter where you go, no matter what you might be running from, don't despair or think you've been abandoned. Because God is with you always. 
Even if you're not aware of it, he is by your side. When you were in your mother's room, womb, God saw you. He knows when you stand up and sit down. God even knows what you're thinking. So plant this truth firmly in your mind. God is with you. Loving, protecting, leading, guiding, and helping you on every step of your journey through this life and beyond. Okay. Now we're going to go over to Crosswalk. There's a devotion. And remember, this is not my um, article. This is Debbie McDaniel. So this is her story, her, her words. I'm just sharing it. Okay, it says, we never face our battles alone. It says, we never face our battles alone. A reminder that God is with us by Debbie McDaniel. And the Lord answered, I will be with you. Judge six, Judges 6.16 6, Some days can seem hurried, pressured, and tense. We know God's truth. We believe his goodness. And yet we still find ourselves struggling. Minds racing. And before our feet can even touch the floor in the morning. Our focus gets blurred. We start listening to the lies of other voices that do more harm than good. The constant media headlines tell us how dark and broken our world is. Images and reminders all around us shout that we're not enough. The enemy is great at heaping on guilt, condemnation, and fear. The problems we face seem more like giants of impossibility than anything good that God can ever bring from them. But often, out of his goodness and grace, when we find ourselves right smack in the middle of huge feelings of defeat, God shows up strong. Many others have been there too. All through the Bible, story after story tells us of those who needed God's reminders that he was near, with them, close, and he never failed, not once. Gideon found himself feeling weak and afraid. In Judges 6, we find that he and his people were facing great suffering and defeat at the hand of the enemy. He doubted God was even with him. In fact, when an angel showed up, he was threshing his wheat in the pit of the wine press, not up on a hilltop where this was usually done. He was fearful and trying to keep hidden from the view of the enemy who had been raiding their land. The angel spoke straight through to his fear and weakness. And when the angel of the Lord appeared to Gideon, he said, The Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Judges 6.12 Don't you love that he called him mighty warrior? Right at the time he felt so discouraged and afraid. But God sees mighty when we see weak. He sees victory when we see defeat. He gives hope when we're filled with disappointment. Getting in question, if God was with us, then why did this happen? Sounds familiar? Ever been there? If God is really here, then why? If God is really good, then when? If God really cares, then how? And even with the questions, after his people had turned their backs on him, God still gracious, patient, loving, and kind. He sends his messenger to encourage, to remind Gideon, and all the Israelites, that he was surely with them. Yet, still staring straight at an angel, Gideon continued to persist with defeated thoughts. But I am the weakest, I am the least. How can God save Israel? And the Lord answered, I will be with you. Judges 6.16 Five powerful words that can see us through anything we face in this life. I will be with you. God will be with you. God's presence is real. He gives us strength for every day. The battle can be intense. In some days, especially the enemy, seems really strong. And we feel really, really weary. We can find ourselves wrestling again with the same defeated thoughts that we thought we'd finally laid to rest just the night before. Disappointments come. We struggle with feeling like we haven't measured up. We listen to the lies that we are less than. But God still answers us, just like he did for Gideon. 
He's still with us, no matter how we might feel or what struggles flood our thoughts. He is filling us with the power and grace of His Spirit, just enough for the day, for this day. A reminder for your heart, and whatever you might be facing, the Lord is with you, mighty warrior. Peace. Some things to think about. It says, how do you need to be reminded of God's presence? Is there an area you've been struggling to carry on your own? Just like Gideon, God never asked us to fight the battles we face all by ourselves. He reminds us that he fights for us, and most importantly, that he's with us. Give him your struggle again today. Lay it down and trust God to work powerfully on your behalf. Let us pray. In fact, that you, Lord, are always with us no matter where we go, no matter what we've done, amazes me. Although others may desert us, you will always be here. Help us become more and more aware of your presence and within us. In Jesus' name, amen. And remember, God is always by our sides, helping, loving, and leading. We are never alone. And if you do feel alone, get in his word. Get on your knees and pray to him. He's right there beside you. Just reach out to him. Y'all have a blessed evening. Bye.